Okay guys, in today's video, we're gonna cover the topic of cultivating a growth mindset, and we're gonna to talk to you about the first one of what we simply called the big rocks. The things that we can do that give us the biggest bang for the buck, but also the things that are relatively the simplest things. I've got today's post, so I'm gonna read it and follow along. First of all, what is cultivating a growth mindset? Well, it's the belief in your ability to learn and to improve. Mental fortitude fuels your resilience in the face of challenges and therefore keeps you motivated to conquer both your goals that are personal and professional. That's pretty straightforward, right? I mean, it's, it's a growth mindset. It's dealing with stuff and moving forward. The first one of the big rocks we're going to talk about is a learning journal. Now, very, very different from people journaling their gratitude, which seems to be all the rage at the moment. So let's just go into it. Learning journal, maintaining a journal to track your personal and professional growth. Not for gratitude, but to track your growth. Celebrate your achievements and also identify the areas for your improvement. So it's an introspective, it's looking inwards. It's, it's like my like dear diary, today I did this somewhat. The learning journal Big Rock is designed to establish a structured method for you as an individual to document your personal and professional growth journey. It involves maintaining a journal, pretty straightforward that we can reflect on our accomplishments, our setbacks, the stuff that we learned, the lessons that we learned, the areas for improvement, and therefore help us foster a growth mindset as part of our development. Now, three things that we're gonna cover in all of these posts. One is, what are the benefits of it? Two, what are the impacts that that will have on the big rock? And then three, what are three things that you and I could start with today, tomorrow, as far as this big rock is concerned? Let's just jump into the benefits. Enhanced self-awareness. By regularly documenting experiences and reflections, an individual can deeper gain an insight into your strengths and your weaknesses, and therefore the areas for development, which therefore fosters a self-awareness which is essential for personal growth. If you are not aware of what's going on, there's no way that you're gonna grow from it. Um, I suppose the saying there is ignorance is bliss. It's a bit of the reverse. Focus on goal setting. Keeping a learning journal will help facilitate the alignment of your personal and professional goals with daily actions and therefore the experiences. And it also will help you track progress, stay accountable and when necessary, adjust the whatever strategy that you're currently using that you've got in place to see whether you can do something a bit better. Continuous learning and improvement is also a benefit. Actively engaging with the learning journal encourages a mindset of continuous learning and improvement, and therefore it allows you as an individual to capture the insights, celebrate your successes, learn from the challenges, and therefore foster resilience and adaptability. You can see the consultant side coming out in all these posts. So what are the impacts? Well, first of all, a learning journal can help impact the goal setting and the action planning tasks that you're gonna do both personally and professionally. The learning journal serves as a foundation tool for effective goal setting and action planning and by documenting the progress and reflecting on those experiences that you have, you can identify specific actions that are aligned towards the growth mindset. Feedback and reflection is also something you get the benefit from and what can Im be impacted by this. Maintaining a learner journal can encourage regular feedback and reflection, reinforcing for you the importance of seeking input from your mentors, your peers, your coaches, maybe it's your family, your wife, your kids, your partner, your husband, your sister's mother's brother's dog, your parents, but basically it facilitates a process whereby that cycle of continuous information and self-reflection can lead to improvement. And finally, the mindset shift towards growth. Consistently using a learning journal will reinforce the principles of a growth mindset by emphasizing the value of the effort, the resilience and the learning that you get from making mistakes. It creates a positive feedback loop whereby you as the individual can become more receptive to challenges and you see setbacks as opportunities. There's always, I've seen that post out there, a setback is an opportunity for a setup 
for a step forward, something along those lines. Probably botched it, but you know what I mean. Now, call to action. What are three things you can start with today to go down this learning journal path? Number one, establish a routine. Set aside a dedicated time each day or a week to update the journal and incorporate it into your daily or your weekly routine to ensure consistency. So unlike this gratitude journal that people are doing every morning or every night before they go to bed, this is something that's a little bit more structured. It's structured in so far as it's not just the two seconds, it's going to make you think, if you're doing it weekly, it's what happened this week? What did I learn from it? How did I react to it? How did I move from it? Etc. Etc. So you're actually spending more time than saying, I'm thankful for the bees. Reflect regularly. So make a reflection a habit by setting prompts or questions to guide your journal entries. Reflect on successes, challenges, lessons, learns, and areas for improvement. Now, I'm not selling it, but there are a few people out there that are selling journals like this. Prompts that change day to day to day, week to week. It will help you sitting there and I'm not a not a, you know averse to using one of those things me I like things that are a blank slate if the paper is blank it means I need to think before I put my thoughts into words onto the paper and finally review and adjust periodically review your journal entries and track your progress towards your goals use this review process to identify patterns adjust your strategies and set new objectives. So in other words, go back, read what you were like at the start of the month, read what you're like at the start of the week, how has that progressed and how has that helped you set yourself up for what is going to be the week ahead. So that's it. Big Rock number one of many in the growth mindset, the learning journal.